Now, one thing I can say about me, though, is um, I have learned to respect the beliefs of others. I've learned to respect the way other people do things. And that's one thing that I found while I'm going through this spiritual journey. Um, and through these peaks and, and valleys and lows and highs of my journey, um, it has now brought me to this spiritual realm. And I found that, you know, this world is comprised of so many different things. And being brought up um, as a little girl, my mom went to Church of God in Christ Church. So that's what I was born into. That's what I was raised into. And so that's what I inherited. That's all I knew. So um, for years, Church of God in Christ Churches, you know what I'm saying? I always looked at the Jehovah Witness like, oh my God, we need to run from them. Like, you know, what's, what's going on? Why are they knocking on our door on Saturday morning? You know, I mean, it was some crazy shit that was in Compton that we was like, oh my God, like, oh, what's, what, what's up with them people, you know? And then down the street, um, there was a, a, a Muslim family and he used to beat this lady up, and they were black, though. And they had they wraps and stuff on, and the kids couldn't hardly play with us and stuff. But he used to abuse her, so it was like, oh, my God, you know, and all the ladies on the block, all my mama's friends and all that on some 227 shit. Oh, he down there whooping her ass again, you know. It was one of them. So I was like, wow, what does that mean? And then as the years go on, and then I'm like, okay, what is with all these priests and these all this kind of stuff and they molesting boys and I mean it was just so many things and I was like you know what I need to get my own understanding about how this religion thing works and what is Christianity and 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 what you know what is what is Buddhism what is, what is, you know what do they believe do they still believe in God and what is this is it a religion or is it a way of life? You know, I had to try to figure these things out because as a kid, these are things that my mom didn't share with me. You know, just like, you know, I was born and raised to be a Democrat. That's all I know. I didn't know anything about, okay, well, Republican, what? What is that? Okay, what they do? You know what I'm saying? Donkey, what? What is that? What is this right here? And what is the elephant? And what? You know, I didn't understand any of those things. And I had to learn those things as I began to grow up. Then, therefore, now... Um, as I'm saying, as a fully present mother, as a fully present single mother, then now I have to teach my kids the things that I did, that I wasn't taught. You know, I have to hug and love my kids a little bit closer than my mom. She really didn't tell me, you know, every day that she loved me when I left the house. You know, she didn't tell me, be careful, please. When my kids leave the house, and I always tell them I love them and I say, be careful, please, all the time. And so, um, you know, but my mom really didn't say that to me. She didn't hug me. She didn't jump in the bed with me and hug me and kiss all on me. My mama didn't do all that shit. But me, I'm that mother, though. And so, but, uh, you know, I had to try to really understand. And I'm still going through the different layers of me. I realize that I'm multifaceted. I realize I'm funny. Um, I realize that I battle my own insecurities. I see where I need to strengthen um, some things about me. Um, I'm just figuring out a lot about me. So that's why I was like, okay, well, let's me and the kids take off and just, you know, go. And then they can go with their friends. And, you know, and I can just, you know, get up under a tree with a book and just, you know, no cameras, no nothing. I don't want to make no YouTube video. I don't want to do any of that. I will post a picture to show you guys what's happening. Y'all look at the sunset. Y'all look, check this out. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's it. I want to just enjoy this time with my son and my daughter. Allow them to go off and, you know, at a distance with their friends. And, you know, I'm just taking it all in. I want to hug a tree. I want to walk through the, through the grains of the sand with no shoes on. You know what I mean? I want to sit out and lay out. I want to take off all my clothes and go run and jump in the water. I want to do, I just, I just, I just want to be free. I just want to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm on some left eye shit. Let's be crystal clear about this motherfucking thing here. It's just the fact that I'm getting to a point of growth. I'm going through a growth spurt in my life 
all encompass. My hair is growing good. Um, and also, I'm finna, I want to give me some badass motherfucking cornrows since we talking about hair and shit. I want me some badass motherfucking cornrows for the summer. Now, it's this girl that's really tough with it, but she live in Watts. And I'm like, you know what? Damn. I don't want to say, but she live in Watts. But, you know, a motherfucker really got to wonder, like, where in the fuck I'm parking my car? You know what I mean? And it's like, but damn, she bad, though. You know? And it wouldn't make no sense for me to go all the way down here and bring her down here so she can do my hair. And then I take her all the way back home it don't work like that usually you go to day spot you chilling you getting contact all that shit they braiding your hair and then nigga you um pay them what you owe them and you do it moving after that but nigga i don't know you know what i'm saying i don't know a motherfucker like me could just be doing it like that now damn but damn you bad as a motherfucker girl you bad with the motherfucking with goddamn with them strands of hair and them twists and shit but anyway but yeah, so anyway, so I've been reading that book and also um, I just got this book today, as a matter of fact, in the mail. And this is my dream Bible. Um, and once again, like I say, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I know my purpose in life. I'm finding my purpose. I'm standing more firmer in it. And I'm also one that is also going to re respect the beliefs in, of others. Um, I'm an enthusiast about a lot. I believe in God. Let me just go ahead on and be clear on that. Let me take it to a Mikasa level and just say that for the record, I don't know nothing about no, um, Wicca and all that. I don't know nothing about no black magic. I don't know nothing about what's that other shit that everybody was talking about that Jay-Z and them was on at one time. I don't know nothing about none of that shit. Okay. I believe in God. Okay, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is my belief, okay? But I do want to know about, so then therefore, if ever I'm asked, okay, but Tina, you know, you know what, what do you know about this? I want to be a well-rounded woman. I vow to be an asset and not a liability. I want to be well-versed with whatever company I'm in. I want to be diverse to where I can get down with them all. I am a chameleon. I have all types of friends that do all kinds of things. Can you tell? To where I got some hood ass motherfucking partners. Then I got some partners that's doing some other shit. Shout out to Mr. Motherfucking Malibu, baby. I know we were supposed to went out last weekend. Okay? It was raining. We were supposed to go out, have dinner and all that chill and kick. And we didn't do it. Then we are supposed to do this this weekend. You see, I'm on this right here. I got to catch up the family and all this right here. Now, I got a trip coming up, so me and I got some other shit coming on. So, I know, baby, we supposed to do this. We supposed to get together, have some dinner, some artichoke dips, some margaritas, and all that old type of shit and catch up. I know you got a new project going on and all that other kind of stuff. Baby, I love you. Just give me a moment. Your girl trying to work some shit out. Right now, the kids are on spring break. They got a little off time to where it's now mama can really sit down and just kind of... You know, have some one on time, one on one time with them and them away from school. They done some good things, so you know they, you know they earned it. So you know we're gonna talk though. You know I know you've been watching my latest videos, having your ass rolling and all that old type of shit. But just give me a moment. You know I got some things going on. Um. So anyway, so yeah. So I got this book today in the mail. Really, really good one. Oh, my God, it's a good one. I just kind of thumbed through it a little bit, and oh, my God, because I really want to know what some of my dreams mean. Now, my mom has a dream book, um, and it's in, because I have so many books. Like, here in my, in my room, I have a bookshelf that's full of books. Then, in the great room of the house, I have another bookshelf that's just full of books. And I think I have like maybe two or three boxes or more of huge boxes of books. And so, anything that's going to teach me some shit that's going to take me to the next level, I, oh, come on in, baby. I like, to, I like to read about it and, you know, I, I, that's just my thing. So, and then like um, St. Patrick's Day was the other day and... You know, I asked Kim Point Blank, I said, babe, what is St. Patrick's Day? What is what is it all about? And I guess it kind of took me back a little bit because a lot of times people think that I know everything and I don't know everything. So, and, I was, and he was like, you really like ask me like, you ask me like, what is St. Patrick's Day? And I was like, yeah, I want to know. I want to know. I mean, what is with all this green? If you don't wear it, they're going to pinch you and all this shit because the motherfucker came in and pinched me. And I, didn't, I was like, nigga, wait a minute. Hold on, motherfucker. <laughs> What we about? 
You see how he about to turn this motherfucking shit into some other shit? Yeah, you about to turn this shit into some other shit. God, God damn. Now see how I'm trying to keep this shit clean. Let me hurry up and go to this other motherfucking book right quick. Because this, when this nigga come here, yeah, on another level. Um, and I've been also reading this. Uh, my meditation time is when I, um, um, when I'm in the sun, I got my egg in place, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking with God, I'm meditating, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of bringing it in my day and kind of just, you know, cleansing my mind, pushing things out, you know, looking at things on that I'm going to do better and, you know, things of that nature. And this is my meditation Bible and you can see I already got tabs in here on different things that I um, um, need to meditate on, um, things that I go to when I, you know, need inspiration on what it is that I'm meditating on. And so this one is a really good read as well. Now my girl Tysha, uh, shout out to her, South Central LA, RN living, uh, um, um, uh, Las Vegas, um, RN, check it out, you know what I'm saying, pass me my lip gloss, yeah, her, she's on my Instagram, Facebook, all that old type of shit, she's from South Central LA, and, um, I just adore her, and, um, uh, we were talking about books, me and her, Dana talk, me and Dana talk about books all the time as well, amongst a few other people, and I know my, my girl Nan, um, she was asking me about um, 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 where about my herbal book, and I like this Bible series. I love this series of books. Oh my God, they're so good and they're thick, they little, they're good, they're good to handle. Um, I just love them, and I have the Crystal Bible, I have the Feng Shui Bible, and I have the Chakra Bible, and now. I have the dream, and I have the meditation, and I have a couple more that's coming. Now, Auntie, where do you get your books from? Where are you getting your books from? Okay, and I don't have a problem with sharing anything. I feel as though we as humans are supposed to share with our brethren. And, you know, I'm not one. If I if I come up with, come up with an easier way of doing something that works for me, I am going to share it with you guys. Always going to do that for free. Okay, I believe that that is what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to be of assistance to one another. So, I'm not one of them ones. Oh, I can't take, because I don't want everybody having what I got. And I don't want, no, nah, I'm not one of them. Okay. Um, and you know what? Every, I remember a friend did that. And I was asking about an app one time. And it was like, motherfucker didn't want to give up the app. And I was like, are you serious? Nigga, I ain't in competition with you, boo. You know? I don't like that kind of shit. I don't like, um, you know, because what's for you is for you. Can't nobody take that from you. Whatever God has ordained for you. Favor is not fair. So whatever whatever God has planted for you, and if it's in your path, it's just going to come to pass. Can't nobody do nothing about that, okay? Now, um, it will make motherfuckers salty and this and that and that and that, but that's just the way that it is. It's part of the word, baby. Once you begin to get spiritually sound and start to begin to read and really get centered and stuff, you start realizing that, you know what? All of this that's happening is supposed to happen. You know, when you, let me tell, let me say one thing too. Because I was reading, about, reading up on that and don't call me exactly what book I was in. But, you know, I was reading up on, you know, how hatred and how, you know, when you are doing certain things or especially when you're doing things for good, how people would try to, how in the Bible, how they were coming in and trying to, you know, throw salt in the game and shit, trying to throw, you know, to take the, to shine, off, to take the shine off of you. Let me throw this in the game. Let me put this out there, you know, that kind of thing. And it's like, I found that when people don't care, they don't care. And you know that you have um, come a distance when, I won't say you've made it, because what is made it? You know, I don't think you ever just make it. I think it's a journey. I think you just have peaks and valleys and, you know, you, you go through episodes and chapters where you're doing really good and then there's times when things are going to be leveled out and then there's times when you're going to get uncomfortable and that's when you need to grow from the level that you have once prayed on. Because, like, now I have to look back and I say, last night as I was in the sun, I was like, you know, damn, 
I remember, I remember the things that I have now I prayed so hard for. Let me just sit back and relax and just take it all in because I prayed for this time. I prayed for this moment. I prayed for this breath. I prayed for this rest. I prayed for this body. I prayed for these breaths. I prayed for this. Let me sit back and enjoy it and relish in it and just take it all in and taste it and absorb it. You know, and man, so anyway, bottom line is Amazon, okay, is where I get my books from. I love, 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 love Amazon. Helen, I thank you so much because I didn't even know what the fuck Amazon was until my girl, Helen Show, came and said, Tina, I was wanting that Jamaican um, cast oil. I think she sent me a bottle uh, a bottle or two or something. And so, but she was telling me where to get it from. Virgo sister, I love her. Um, you know, um, my condolences. She lost her dad some time back. And, you know, so she's going through, you know, right now. And, and her, that pain is familiar, mama. So I just wanted to shout you out on that and just know that, you know, baby, I'm, I'm with you. And I understand. Um, but anyway, she had put me up on Amazon, and, uh, um, and that was when um, I did a video, and it was called, It's Not Even About You, um, it, me and Helen, she was part of the video, and um, so anyway, anyway, Helen, um, girl, thank you for, um, thank you for everything. Um, she had put me up on, on, on the wig game real tough. She put me up on a lot of things and, um, Amazon and, and I will be forever grateful that I didn't know anything about it. And you was like, girl, you, you know, you got to go on Amazon. I was like, what the shit? Get the app on your this and that. I was like, okay. And ever since then, every time I shop on there, I think about your ass every time. And I'll be like, you know what? Damn. Isn't that how cool is that? I didn't even know anything about this. And my girl just put me up on it. And put me up on it for free. So, um, I ordered me some more books this morning. And I always buy my books used. And, um, and then I'll share with you guys what I know. I don't have a problem with doing the work, reading up on it. Because y'all know that ain't been my thing. I'm not, I, you know, I have all kind of books, but they're for reference. I go in there. I haven't too much of... My books read from cover to cover. Now, my my green weed, I have read that motherfucker from cover to cover. Let me just go and say that part. I did read that motherfucker from cover to cover. But a lot of my books, I can't say that I have totally read from cover to cover. I'm more of a reference. Um, and I'll go in there and I'll kind of thumb through on what I need to. Um, but I have to say on this right here, yeah, you see, I'm, I, don't, I can't read as fast as like my kids. Like Anthony, he had this book read in a day. I mean, he's just like that tough of a reader. But you see me, I've already, I got another thing here too because I also, I'm a thumber. So I thumb through things. I see what I like. Oh my God, that was cool. And I'll probably read to the end of that chapter, but then I'll go back and I'll skip chapters. That's not always right. I don't know if it's some type of dyslexia or something with me. I don't know. But I always start in the middle and all kind of shit. Start from the back. Oh, don't do it how I do it. Okay? I'm working on me. Okay? <laughs> I'm trying to take the kinks out. I'm trying to take the kinks out. And, and also, girls, I know we're supposed to have a knee to knee about, you know, some real cool, cool, cool girl shit. My relationships and all that kind of stuff. And... You see, I can't do it right now, um, but I want to. I need to. I got some shit coming up, girls, that, uh, you know, straight up on some real shit. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm doing me. I made it to this point and to this level where I can do me. Let me do me and enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Let me enjoy it. Fuck that. I'm not going to make no, apology, no, no apologies. You know, I don't put in the work. I done suffered, I done dealt with, I done overcame, I done all that old type of shit. I'm a conqueror. Uh, excuse me, I'm finna go do this right here and I'll be back. Holla at you. You know what I mean? I ain't no, uh, ain't no permission and all that. I, no, I'm too, I'm, look, uh, permission, what? Hold on, I'm finna do this right here, I'll be back. You know? So, anyway... Let me get started on doing these other videos that I have to do for you guys. But I did want to catch you guys up 
Um, I am going to cook for Easter. Um, I will be back. Um, we're just going for five days, so I'll be back and then, you know, getting prepared for, um, Easter Sunday. Um, and so then therefore, I, so I'm cooking the regular shit that everybody else be cooking. Let me just go on and say that. Um, but, um, right now we're really on health kicks here. And, um, so, you know, I'm not going to cook a whole lot of shit because everybody is kind of, you know, taking care of things and kind of going through cleansings and stuff. Um, and I want to start in like April 1st or so. I'm going to go through like a sin, a 60 day, um, cleanse and my kids, they want to do it too. And so we're going to eat a little cleaner, um, work out to a different, you know, um, uh, a different, um, what's the word I'm trying to gather at a different comfort zone, shall I say, instead of doing the same stuff, we're going to do some other stuff, basically. So we're going to do that. We're going to just try some different stuff. So I'm trying a whole bunch of different stuff all through different aspects of my life. I'm just trying different things. That's it. I'm growing. <laughs> so um, let me get prepared to do these other videos that I need to do. And um, I just wanted to catch you guys up and let you guys know that I love you so much. And I shall see you when I come back from spring break. Talk to you soon. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Mwah.